Hello YouTube, welcome back to another review video. Today I would like to review Swiss Airbus A220-100 by Herpa. The mold is nicely done. It has two areas on top and one in the bottom. The only issue I probably have is that the holes for the aerials are just a little bit too big, but nonetheless, it's a fantastic model. The colors in the mold are on point. The print is fantastically done, but there are two flaws. Like the Swiss title is incorrectly placed on the left side of the aircraft, and the tail number on the right side is placed at a very slight angle. The wings are nicely fitted, and are superbly painted, but it lacks two things. The tail number in the bottom of the left wing, and the black stripe in the whole wing where the nose step outside this area is marked. There are several flaws with the engines. There is a gap in the engine mount where the pylon and the engines connect. There is also a seam in the middle of both sides of the engines and the color inside the engines are incorrect, given the fact that the engines are the Pratt & Whitney's PW1500G with the teal color right before the fan blades. The landing gear and wheels are made out of plastic, therefore the wheels don't roll. The nose landing gear seems to be slightly shorter compared to the main landing gear. Also, all the wheels are the same size. Overall, this is a model I recommend you guys to get. Despite its flaws, still makes a nice addition to your collection. Well, that concludes the review for Swiss Airbus A220-100 by Herpa. If you have this model, let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Please, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest reviews. This is Alpha and hope to have you guys back again soon.